Now to business, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo on Tuesday at the Presidential Villa Abuja received the 2019 Compliance Report of the Presidential Executive Order 001 on the promotion of transparency and efficiency in the business environment. Laolu Akonde, Oshibajo's spokesman in a statement, said the Vice President expressed optimism that the reforms would bring dramatic changes to the Nigerian economy. Oshibaja said that the President uh, Muhammad Buhari's administration would continue its determined pursuit of reforming Nigeria's business environment until the full attainment of the objectives. The report was presented by the Minister of, Sta Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, Mariam Katagum, and the Special Advisor to the President on Ease of Doing Business, Dr. Jumoke Oduwale, during the meeting of the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council. In 2017, in the World Bank Doing Business Ranking, Nigeria moved up 24 places and was also listed among the top 10 reforming economies in the world. Now, Innovation Series is an annual gathering of professionals and business owners, which is an initiative of Verdant Zeal. This year's conference was hinged on leveraging on technology for growth. The case note speaker advised that Nigerians adopt technologies that are in tandem with our current realities. As Nigeria had missed out in the 1784 mechanical revolution, the 1870 electrical revolution, the internet bust, and was not about to miss out on this digital age. Arun Nibani was there and fights in this report. The eighth edition of the Innovation Series, which is an initiative of Vedanzil, was held in Lagos with a focus on how Africa as a continent can leverage on technology for growth. We decided to pursue legacy by institu instituting the Innovation Series, which we have designed to discuss Africa's developmental issues that borders on technology, how we can harness our youthful population, issues around entrepreneurship, leadership, and of course, issues around my own profession, which is still primarily branding and, um, and marketing and positioning. Our situation in Africa is not a situation in Europe. It's not a situation in Asia. It's not a situation in America. So if you are going to apply technology, you have to apply it in a manner that solves challenges in our environment. And our needs are very basic. As you know, we are in a recessed economy. It's not ideal at this time to increase any tax rates. So the, the best, our best bet is to try and widen the tax net and increase the number of taxpayers. And uh, that is one heavy objective that, that is on our minds all the time. And uh, to do this, we definitely must leverage on technology. Gone are the days where we did things manually. Technology has really helped reduce the price of most things significantly. And now instead of just uh, a few people having access to, to leading things in the world, technology is now giving you the opportunity to have these things at your fingertips at a fraction of the cost. I get very excited when I go for some of these trade shows and you see the number of young people that are bringing in all manner of innovation into the agricultural value chain. So things are definitely um, changing. For Plus TV Africa, Irene Ubani. And to the stock markets now, the close of Tuesday's trade, Zenith Bank led the list of top trades selling over 6 billion Naira valued shares. Irene Ubani tells us more. At the close of trade on Tuesday, the All Share Index was down by 0.09%. To close at 26,365.83. Total deals recorded was 2,780 with an equity capitalization of 12.834 trillion naira. Leading the list of top gainers was Stambic, which closed at a share price value of 37 naira per share, while CCNN closed at a share price value of 16 naira per share. On the list of top decliners was MTN Nigeria, which dropped to a share price value of 129 naira per share while Etana dropped to a share price value of 2 naira 85 cob per share. Leading the list of top trades was Zenith Bank, with a volume of 357.226 million shares traded at a value of 6.180 billion naira. And on sectorial indices, NSE Insurance was down by 0.32%. NSE Oil and Gas remained unchanged. 
NSC banking was up by 0.09%, NSC consumer goods was down by 0.03%, and NSC industrial was up by 0.19%. And in the Lagos parallel market, the Naira traded to the dollar, buying a 358 Naira to a dollar and selling a 360 Naira to a dollar. The Naira traded at 457 Naira, buying price to a pound, and traded at 463 Naira, selling price to a pound. The Naira also bought at 397 Naira to a euro and traded at 403 Naira to a euro.